the hearts of your faithful and in them the fire of your love send forth your spirit and we shall be created and we shall be in the face of the earth we ask for your guide your uh, and inspiration so that we can uh, help in uh, giving great ideas and insights to share um, among our colleagues and our uh, countrymen to make our country better to make our lives um, and our community uh, cope up with uh, this pandemic um, thank you for the unconditional love that you've given us as we uh, continue forward and uh, spread his love your love to the world amen 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 good morning guys morning good morning good morning morning so um ang topic natin ngayon is practical business rebound strategies in the post covid world and um i know ito yung pinag-usapan diba ng mga lahat ng tao na how do we uh, go back uh, ano na ba new normal or new abnormal uh, <laughs> and uh, i think um so we're uh, broadcasting this live lang for uh, recruiting purposes also and uh, for some people who will uh, join us today or later on. Uh, so maybe we'll go around the table and uh, first topic siguro that uh, I wanted us to discuss would be So ano ba yung nag-work uh, what do you guys think are working now during this uh, COVID world uh, or in the post-COVID world? And what do you think will not work anymore um, in this time? And uh, also, please uh, introduce yourself while uh, you start doing it. Who wants to, ano, who wants to start? Pwede na po. Ito na. Sige, Sir Nelson. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, Nelson wait, wait before it. beauty. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Labala Isabel, Tech Malaysia. What, what's the question? <laughs> Yung ano, mindset that works now in COVID, in, in COVID, ano, uh, COVID times. Ano. Kasi number one sa akin siguro is adaptability. In, intro muna, Nelson, intro. Hello? Introduce yourself, Muna. Yeah. Uh, I'm Nelson Terrible of Clubbala Isabel and Techno Asia. Uh, we're a property development company, and um, Clubbala Isabel is one of our flagship projects. We also have other businesses, Santuario Divino, uh, you know, major popular ngayon. It's a memorial uh, park and, and memorial service business. Yeah. So, all in all, Sigur, I have about 37 years of experience in the business. Sigur, yeah. address muna natin yung unang tanong. Ano? Yung isang topic natin ngayon. Ano yung mga strategies and mindsets ano, that works? Number one, Sigur, is adaptability. Kasi nung una, I was thinking, wala. Bag bagsak pa tayo ang turismo. Hindi pwede. And there's no way we can do business the way we used to do. So... Uh, so because I was toying with the idea, I was reading uh, and learning from other countries. So Dublin, they were doing uh, luxury quarantine. And also in LA, they have a place and on go over the luxury quarantine. So I said, why not? I said, we can consider And in less than two weeks, now, I've been toying with the idea, I tossed it to our team. Um, I got a letter from DOT. Department of Tourism. Then after the OT letter, um, OWA contacted us. So, isa kami sa mga unang nabigyan ng, ano, ng opportunity na to offer um, temporary shelter for repatriated OWs. And now almost everyone is doing it. Mga five-star hotel states sa Manila, do see it. Um, uh, ASCOT, yung mga uh, five-star uh, service residences, even Medina Hotel, mga hotels dito sa Resort World. So, kaya lang, uh, eventually, siguro ito, this would be good up, only up to June. 
Giisip kami, ano pa ba opportunities after chore? After chore? Yun ang mga pinag-uusapan namin ngayon. So siguro yun, adaptability is very, very important. Uh, para makagrab ka ng opportunities that is available at the moment. So yung isa pa rin, ang importante ay yung mindset. Kasi dumating itong pandemic, siyempre, ito ang gulo. Ang laki ng, ano, laki ng problema. At daming, uh, then we do it. Ano? Eh, sabi nila, mga 12 months, 18 months, even 2 years. So, ang mindset that I have, ano, uh, sabi ko, ito naman siguro, eh, this is not going to be permanent. This is going to be year for, yung nga, maximum siguro 2 years. Hopefully, maximum 2 years na yan. Uh, so, if we have a problem that confronts us at the moment, uh, I think the best way to do it is break it into small pieces, bite-sized, chewable. Parang nakasashay, di ba? Yun. So, when you, do, when you look at it that way, ano ba, ano bang payable ko monthly, you know, to maintain uh, my, uh, to maintain my, yung living expenses ko, personal, uh, or, or sa business. So, if you're looking at, say, 100,000, ano pa yung 100,000? If you break into essential, essential, you break into food, you feel, yung mga basic. Then, non-essential. So, from there, siguro, ay malalaman natin, we can attack the problem. Mas madaling i-attack kaysa yung titinan ko lang, biglang tingin ko, oh, 100,000 yung kailangan ko yung i-produce. Pero, baka naman, hindi naman lahat 100,000 kailangan. So, Yun doon, yun yung ano ko doon, take ko doon sa first, uh, sa first, ano natin, first question. And ano yung, ano, ano yung, what would that work? And what we should stop doing? At the moment, what will that work for Bala Isabel? Eh, wala na yung, ano, wala na mga weddings, mga social events, wala na corporate events, wala na yung mga family gathering, you know, sa, sa resort, you know? It's not gonna work for uh, for at least one year and a half to two years, you know. So, what we should stop doing, eh, siguro, I think everybody knows it. We should stop buying non-essential items, you know. Yung bagay hindi kailangan siguro, we put it on hold. So, do I go on? Kasi may, yung, yung next natin, you know, we go around by, by, you know, by, there are three items. Uh, De, um, let's go one round muna on the first one question. One round muna. Yung first so, uh, uh, pero Sir Nelson, sa tingin mo yung wedding, hindi magkakaroon ng mga social distancing events? Or talaga... Meron. Kasi ang event. guideline kasi sa wedding, KBL, Kasal Binyag Living, pag wedding, uh, ang ano ng ano ng ng uh, Roman Catholic one pair of wedding sponsor yung parents of the bride and the groom tapos yung the the ano the, the bride and the groom no entourage wow so really? i think yung yung wedding that we used to have ano baka hindi pa possible the same thing with binyag ang binyag din isang pair lang ng ginoong and dinan uh, parents of the, you know, of the, uh, of the child. And yung bata. I think that's all. Sa living, ganun din. Ah, so wala talaga. Very Alam close mo. family members. I attended a uh, funeral services, cremation services recently. Zoom nga lang yan. Puro Zoom nga lang yan. And yung uh, family lang, usually yung family lang ang nandun sa, ano, doon sa actual na, there are wakes, ano, may mga wakes pa rin. Kaya lang, Usually, ang wakes na nakikita namin, mga sampo. Hindi lang kagaya ng wake nung dati na, na, no, na puno. Uh, people come in, in and out sila. So, yung mga negosyante ng, ano, nagninegosyo ng mga flowers, affected yan, ano, sa mga, ano, sa funeral services. Uh, okay. Okay. Who wants to go next? Who's next? Uh, ako na lang next because I'm excited also to uh, Sir Nelson's business, eh. Uh, my name is Randy Manaloto, and uh, I have different. Uh, I'm involved in different businesses, 
we do uh we we own Wofex, which is a trade show so that's events related uh, uh we are also involved in hotel development and management and and then uh we also do e-commerce no? so um quick pivots lang on all of these three uh, because the events business is is uh, actually on cost right now um no wala nang relevant to yung business of uh, meeting up with people so we decided to in the meantime uh, we we postponed our events but we still uh, are relevant to our customers by um, uh, pivoting uh, to online presence uh, it's just good that we've been teaching uh, social media marketing we've been teaching other marketing um, strategies uh, using the internet using other channels other than um face face the ups and so uh among our clients we're able to convince them to use uh, different platforms like for example this one we're doing now um stream um stream webinars uh to make still to to partner with our clients and uh, be relevant with their uh, customers as well so i don't know hotel uh then um right now we're, we're still doing okay because uh Although no, wala yung mga tourists, uh, we are now catering to OFWs to populate in seafarers um, who, who uh, were repatriated back home from their uh, different destination assignments um, because of uh, furloughs and uh, job losses. So in the meantime, uh, like Sir Nelson, we're full until uh, the next two months. But after that, we're expecting a year of very slow, uh, very slow take up. So, the vacancy. so uh, now we are pivoting to making ourselves uh, of a different purpose. So since we are we are in the fringes of Makati, we already started pivoting and uh, coordinating with uh, talking to BPOs uh, and started getting some clients already. Um, uh, Converting some of our hotel units into uh, work from home, BPO extension of their employees because nga, there are also uh, physical distancing requirements uh, inside their offices. So uh, either they look for, um, they opt for their people to do work from home or do it from other place. And so ours is a good compromise. It's near their office. So, and it's also a sleeping quarter. So, it's actually both uh, an extension office and a uh, work from here. And done. Thank you. Okay. Galing. Uh, who's next? I'll follow. Ako okay. na. Okay. Can, can you hear me? Yes. I'm 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 Larry Gamboa of Think Rich Pinoy and Club Theory Coach. I'm involved in, in a small way in the, the seminar business, which I'll talk about a bit. And then the real estate business through brokerage with Remax Capital Alabang and investment in, uh, in, in some properties. So the question that I heard uh, Anton ask, maybe you can help me, is uh, how am I coping with the current COVID-19 crisis? Anton? Anton? Yes. Is that and, the question? Uh, yes. And what do you think? What what worked now and what's not working? Okay. Sort of. What's working now? Pwede, pwede. Uh, that <laughs> that I uh, I'm talking about the seminar business. Just uh, two weeks ago, we did in Chris Pinoy abundance seminar live. <laughs> We pivoted and then went to Think Rich Pinoy Abundance Seminar Pivot. Rather than a whole day of seminar, we did it over four days. And we had uh, eight, eight, eight speakers over four days. And we used Zoom so that we still serve the people who had purchased from us uh, for the seminar. And now... Moving forward, we are now ready to promote and, and share 
Think Rich Pinoy Abundance Seminar Pivot Edition on July 25, where uh, we will be offering a whole new online course. Uh, the new online course is the uh, version that was just crafted during the last two weeks of the Think Rich Pinoy Abundance Seminar Pivot Edition. And we're using what we're learning from Jeff Walker of Product Launch Formula. So in other words, uh, the new normal is, is what I'm learning is uh, hyper online. So that's why we're following the new normal of hyper online through the seminar, pivoting to be offered online. Think Rich Pinoy Abundance Seminar. It's hyper delivery. So your hyper delivery can be done in the seminar. But here where I live, which is beside the uh, Ardi Roberto in Verdana, we can actually deliver ice cream and food <laughs> and sell to each other. And I'm benefiting from the hyper delivery new normal that has taken place already. And that will... It seems to me, despite the fear and the panic and the paralysis, people are not uh, giving in. They are actually becoming more entrepreneurial during this time through using hyper online as a new normal, hyper delivery, and hyper local. Hyper local. I believe that uh, the tourists will that will be, will be hit hard but the local people still need a place to stay uh, whether it's a, sh a small condo unit near bgc or rockwell or uh, in uh, the area of nelson no so I, I believe in a niche way the businesses of both Nelson and Randy uh, will still go on, will still go on. So that's the mindset I'm, I'm working on right now. Rather than being paralyzed, I want to move forward through the new normal of hyper online with the Think Rich you know, Abundance Seminar. So uh, July 25 is the next one. Uh, We'll be speaking also at 2 o'clock at the Pareb, Pareb event, the Philippine Association of Real Estate Board, uh, sharing with them uh, just this, this areas, you know, what do we do as real estate brokers, as real estate investors during the new normal post-COVID, during COVID and Post-COVID, we are discovering new normals that we were taking for granted or going slow and organic. Now, everything has sped up. What takes 10 years, all of a sudden happened in 10 days, no? Uh, because of the use of the internet, because of technology. That's it. Mm -hmm. All right. So, who's next? Okay, who's next? Who's next? Sir RD. Jamag. Ah, uh, Jamag. <laughs> Sir Jamag. Naka-mute, sorry. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. First question was uh, is what business strategies, mindsets that work now in COVID times? No? Well, well, I think, uh, like everybody saying, everybody sharing, uh, it's pivot, no? It's pivoting. I just want to talk about pivot for a while. In basketball, when you say pivot, diba? one foot remains where it is. The other foot can move around. So that's, that's I just want to talk about how important uh, knowing what pivoting is. Because there's some people I realize after listening to some of the so-called pivoting that they're doing, they're getting out of their DNA. So that means 
both foot both feet now are moving out of the out of the center so you remember you have a center eh, and that's your balance so when you pivot make sure you stick what you make one foot the main where your dna is where your core competence is okay. and how you can and and you move the other foot wherever you know basta you keep the other foot to the ground parang ganun ba yan so stick to your core stick to what you know stick to your capabilities and abilities okay and then and to my mind no the mindset that will work is really i'll share you what doctor professor professor doctor ed morato said something new no and i i just learned about it is aq aq is i know ad, not adversity quotient which which i thought was adversity quotient turns out adver- adversity adversity quotient is ano is fighting off adversity so it's more of a defensive and a little offensive no but more defensive and getting but k doctor uh, professor doctor ed morato aq niya is audacity quotient and the meaning of audacity is doing everything without without regard for self self ano self protect, protecting yourself is being yung yung confident so in a good way no usually audacious or being having audacity is usually used negatively eh? but in this in this crisis times you need aq you have you, you have to move in a very very in a very audacious i don't know if that's the word audacious way no so it's a it's a verb yata eh. audacious. so audacious oh so just do everything uh be confident in your mga positive terms positive ways to look at aud- being audacious eh. uh do everything that you want to do uh in in those things uh and then of course we always reflect it's very it's very important to my mind no kasi yung tinuro sa master of entrepreneurship one of the key pillars of being an entrepreneur master and entrepreneur is really self mastery so in times of like this you have to re- remember to stay calm eh, and look inwards first and reflect so that you'll be able to do what you need to do and stay stay and improvise properly and not panic no panic is the one that that kills everybody eh. and i mean I've been taught to be a certified diver. Ang pinaka importanteng lesson doon eh, do not panic. That's why you have to learn self mastery eh. Kasi if you know self mastery, you know you master your business, you master the environment, you will never panic anymore because you know the rules, you know everything that's happening around you. Panic is on panic and fear results when you don't know what's what's around you eh, and what's inside you. So remember to me you just have to learn what's your weakness what's your strength and move around those Okay next question is what does not work and what you should stop doing Uh part of the part of the no of the self mastery is in these times of crisis the the worst thing you can do is to be consultative Uh, you need you need ano you need kind of not naman a coercive leader but you need to be you don't need to become a, ano no a wartime leader uh, what's important is to be an innovator an innovator leader uh, willing to explore many things always to be in the forefront of everything That's part of being audacious also or having a high AQ is you know, always being in the forefront because if you, during a crisis, if you're not in the forefront, if you cannot put yourself in the forefront, there's so many opportunities and there's so many other people also seeking those opportunities. Everybody will, will trump you and put you down. Eh? So you have to have a, no, sabi ni Ed Morato, high AQ. Okay, and then another bad thing, bad, 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 you know, uh, bad thing that you do is to be careful. You know, and it's part of being having that AQ, but I mean. and then what business will thrive? Of course, food. 
It's nice to be in the food business. It's nice to be in the agri business. So farm to table, ni Nelson will really work. I think that's good. That's that. Those are good ideas. I think uh, not too many business demand will die. Eh. Uh, but of course, innovation, pivoting is required. You see, na sabi na baka patay na yung gyms, patay na yung cinema, patay na yung cruise. I don't think they'll die. I think they just need to innovate. I think there's a way to revisit cost structures. Uh, yung mga ganun ba? So visit, visit everything. Cost structures. Tapos you you just improvise and you know, you know. Okay, yung sinabi ni Nelson na ano, you know, you chop it up into little pieces just to get through this crisis para hindi ka magpanic. So, I like I like that one, Nelson. I'll use that. I'll use the one you said. <laughs> Tapos, pero tingin ko magdaday ang magdaday newspapers, magazines, <laughs> and then retail, retail that doesn't need fashion or fit fitting. I think that that retail will die because of digital of and because of e-commerce. Uh, so my point is lang is learn about yourself first you master yourself after you master yourself things will always you know, calm down for you thank you nice <laughs> nice oh, sir RD oh, good to meet you Ah, ko na? Ikaw? Ikaw na. Ah, sige. Okay, good morning, guys. Uh, my name is R.D. Roberto. I'm an author, entrepreneur, uh, speaker. I'm better known siguro as an author. I wrote this book called, yeah, pa-plug ko na, Happy Entrepreneur. And the mindset, well, I mean, uh, several businesses, but if you look at it in the, tot the totality, Pareho kami ni Jomag. Pero food business in three different aspects. Food business, food for the body, food for the mind, and food for the soul. So I provide food for the body with the uh, food businesses. I'm also a franchisee of Jomag's so Corner. Uh, Multi-brand kami. Mr. Moo, Henlin, uh, Tubo. We also set up our own uh, brands called Karenderia. And we also set up a community-based store that which we recently branded here as the uh, Mariposa Food Network. Uh, we also provide food for the mind, uh, meaning in the education space. Uh, I've been in the seminar business as well, uh, learning events business uh, for about 20 years uh, through Salt and Light Ventures and Inspire Leadership Consultancy. Although I'm not managing director anymore, uh, I still own uh, Inspire. So we're still providing uh, training solutions for that. But what I'm most excited about in the Food for the Mind business is the global, uh, Homeschool Global. I'm part of Homeschool Global. We, we provide uh, home education solutions to families. So I'll speak about that in a little while. And lastly, Food for Soul. So I have a speaking and writing ministry. I'm an itinerant minister, and that has been booming as well. Okay, so in terms of mindset, thinking about it, an entrepreneur, uh, his value to society, an entrepreneur really provides solutions to problems and irritants that uh, the community or the city or the country is experiencing. So looking at that mindset, of being a problem solver. So to pivot, meron akong acronym eh, called PISO. Uh, P-I-S-O. So an entrepreneur's mindset, especially during this time of COVID times of crisis, is to look at things. Uh, P is for look at the problems. Okay? I is look for irritants. So look at problems and irritants that your community um, is experiencing and provide S, provide solutions that and when you provide solutions to that, the O comes with opportunities. So just to give an example, kailangan na pivots, food business, di ba? Sarado lahat ng malls. So paano ngayon yun? So nag-pivot, we provide ang irritants kayo ng mga tao, hindi sila makalabas, uh, they don't have access to the 
favorite uh, food cravings that they have. So the pivot there is to be uh, solve that irritant and solve that problem by providing the solution, which is uh, like here in our village, we set up a community store where we look at all of our networks of food businesses that we have. And we started providing uh, pick up, home pickup uh, food service uh, from Potato Corner, uh, Mr. Moo, providing fresh milk, cheeses. Uh, recently, we also offered ice cream kasi summer na, uh, providing ice cream. We provided also uh, packed meals uh, that needed to be delivered to uh, to security guards, to BPOs, to churches, to the frontliners as well. So you pivot down, you're looking at the problem and not dying, saying, wala na, sarado na yung tindahan, so patay na tayo. But pivoting, like Joe Mag said, remain in one foot, you know, start with the basics, think like a startup and provide solutions uh, to that problem. Uh, another thing that's working well is uh, right now in the education space, in Learning Hub, we're a partner in the Learning Hub in Alabang. And grabe, the number of increase, I was just told by my partners, the number of increase for our homeschool service has increased by 1,300%. Grabe, 1,300%. So the interest in homeschooling, provide, uh, we provide homeschool curriculum, homeschool training, we train parents how to be, uh, how to set up a home home uh, education system for the children and providing materials. So that has increased 1,300%. So there's an opportunity. Looking at that, dun makikita natin yung changes, what doesn't work anymore, is the f looking at the, uh, I don't think, the malls will go back to what it was, or schools will go back to what it was. The golden age of malls, I think, and and uh, I think is over. I think people right now have found out na hindi pala kailangan pumunta ng mall three times a week. Eh. <laughs> I mean, there are solutions that okay pala yung uh, uh, eating at home or being provided the meals that we're used to and having it delivered to us or picking it up from the neighbors. So I think that's a new normal. Um, what I'm interested in is also like, we're talking about education space. Ang, ang mga businesses you're talking about. I was just talking to my friend, Angelo Lozada. He owns the Lozada Swimming School. So the brainstorming, I mean, yung swimming school? How will you, how, he, he, you know, he has so many people, so many swimming instructors. I don't know, maybe Nelson, okay? We have a young uh, solution for my friend, but he, we were racking our brains thinking, how can you do Zoom? How can you do swimming lessons via Zoom? I'm <laughs> here. So, uh, although I have a friend man who's in the outdoor, they're actually doing uh, sila mga, uh, outdoor camps. But uh, so there, there, uh, I saw that there's an outdoor camp via Zoom. Okay. So I don't know. So those industries, those uh, those businesses like swimming school. Uh, you know, uh, uh, if they don't innovate, they don't find a solution to that. So maybe in this discussion, we can, you know, maybe help my friend also look for a solution to that. So those are the challenges right now. And uh, I don't know, Anton, if, if that answers to all the questions that you posted. So, so far, that's what I can contribute right now. Okay, sige. Uh, okay, Rich, go na. Thank you, Ardi. Welcome, welcome. Rich? Nag freeze. Nag freeze. Yeah. I'll say, ako na lang muna. Nag freeze. Nag freeze, Rich. Um, so, for me, um, I think. One of the things uh, we'll talk, uh, so I'll introduce myself. I'm Anton Diaz, founder of Our Awesome Planet. So we've been blogging for 15 years, and uh, we've been covering restaurants, travel, events, and all those uh, all those segments are affected. No? Um, 
And uh, I think siguro yung one of the things that will not work uh, in the future and and my mistake also in building our awesome planet it, is that it was heavily dependent on advertising. So um, obviously, when I created restaurants, travel, and events, akala ko diversified na. Na, you know, if one industry goes down, hindi ma-apektan yun, ba? But Obvi- <laughs> on hindsight, hindi pala totoo yun, di ba? All, all at the same time, everybody's affected. And building a business based on advertising, uh, even if you look at the Facebook business or Google business, yung stocks nila hindi makarecover kagad kasi it's all 100% advertising. So, we're... Uh, one of the things, though, that uh, we did, uh, we... Uh, <laughs> nice. So, we're in the media space. Um, email, newsletters are actually working. No? Um, so, if you don't have a newsletter, um, kasi ngayon, that one really works out now. Oh, okay. They wanted to know more about what's happening. <laughs> Is uh, ano, uh, live streaming. So, one of the essential skills that you need to learn in this uh, in this post-COVID world, is live streaming. So we started uh, doing uh, live streaming shows. Uh, we have an awesome live show. We're trying this out an online mastermind uh, live streaming, um, maybe to help out uh, people once they get um, to be familiar with the concept. Also, um, so there are a lot of tools like Streamyard. People know Zoom now. Um, there are different uh, ways to uh, to do uh, streaming service. The reason streaming becomes very important is that, you know, there's a lot of businesses that are promote us. Uh, we always tell them, can you put a face to the press release? Because if you have a press release, ka lang, it doesn't work anymore. People want to see... Uh, for example, for Potato Corner, it's hard to put a press release. Lang. Very important na let's say Jomag talks to everybody about Potato Corner or the CEO or somebody from the company talking about their business. So we're actually starting to do talks um, with certain businesses, na, uh, chefs. Uh, we're talking to SSI also what they're doing with e-commerce because e-commerce is uh, the way to go also. And um, yun lang. The, uh, ako, when I think about this, I'm really thinking about 100% uh, a business that is 100% at home. Um, Twitter recently already said that they'll be forever work from home. And I think a lot of companies would follow suit, no? Uh, maybe hindi naman siguro lahat uh, because there are some businesses that needs hands on. But if uh, if your business can, um, can do 100% work from home, then... You have to do it. So we're looking uh, at that angle. At the same time, aside from homeschooling, uh, yung homeschool, ang galing talaga, RD. Kasi nga, like for example, uh, yung mga anak namin, yung the traditional schools are opening up again, pero they're homeschooling din naman. I mean, they're online, no? So there's really, uh, um, parang we're really thinking na advantageous talaga homeschooling kasi Kaysa yung mga teachers from a traditional school teaching your kids, ikaw na lang, di ba? With the proper guidance and proper uh, no, proper curriculum, no? And yeah. uh, maybe if it works or not, but this is the fir- uh, the best time to do it kasi everybody is almost doing it. Um, yeah. So, and lahat nga, lahat nga mga traditional school was forcing everybody to decide on enrollment now, di ba? Kasi nga, they want to know whether they'll still enroll in the next year or not, or homeschool. Um, so, ang ganda ng proposition ng homeschooling yeah. talaga. Um, and then, siguro the other thing lang uh, to close my uh, sharing is everybody is 100% digital. So, digital skills are very important. Uh, and, and, uh, and, ang galing nga, actually, gusto ko interview si Sir Larry eh. Kasi he's an example of somebody who's able to get into digital, no? Parang ang galing din, ha? And then talking about product launch ni Jeff Walker, well, there's an event, di ba, Sir Larry, this weekend on uh, launch formula. So parang 
galing ah <laughs> and uh, this will be the new ano this will be the new normal talaga that uh, people talking about uh, product launch online live streaming um and uh, a lot of stuff. The other thing that uh, we did recently uh, and were uh, with Randy also was uh, you know, uh, learning about the stock market, not only in the Philippines, but also globally. Because I, I know a lot of Filipinos have invested in local stock markets. Lang. Uh, but now, because you can invest even as low as $1,000 to global stock markets. No? There are like uh, interactive brokers. You can uh, put your money there. And Makikita mo yung galaw ng uh, the whole industry also on what are COVID resilient, what are not. Um, so we launched that program called Awesome 10X. Uh, so we're still uh, stabilizing that. Uh, but we're teaching a lot of people how to look into you know, stock investing, uh, especially uh, during this time. Yon. All right. Nandiyan na ba si Rich? Wala. Nawala si Rich. Hindi na siya nakabalik. Okay, so, um, ganito. So, yung next round natin, maybe um, hindi na siguro one by one, but uh, the question, let's jump in lang, uh, probably uh, can answer or provide guidance. One of the common questions, uh, I'll be showing the question uh, <laughs> below. Uh, one of the common questions really coming out of ECQ or quarantine is how to handle death, no? Uh, and uh, kahapon nga, dumating niya yung Meralco, uh, Meralco bills. <laughs> and, uh, and sabay-sabay sila, di ba? May, on May 30, sabay-sabay dadating. Um, I know a lot of you are uh, seasoned uh, here also and a lot of people wants guidance also. How, how do you think about that ba? Um, uh, and I know at this time, I tried to call in the banks. Nobody is answering in the banks kasi lahat nasa ECQ. So lahat, everybody would be collecting, contacting the banks by May 30. So who wants to jump? Yeah. Anton. Okay. Yes. yes. That's a very good question, you know? Kasi after the lockdown, the banks and my utility companies, yung mga bills nila would start coming in. Ano? Uh, but sa akin kasi, we have to classify muna ano? There, yung, yung mga payable, be it personal or business. Ano? Uh, ang una yung banks and a fixed amortization payables. Ano? So pwedeng bank loan or whatever you pay on a, on a monthly basis, yung mga amortization mga, ng condominium. Ano? So yung mga bank, like we talked with the um, uh, security bank bago mag-lockdown, nag offer sila ng ano, ng, uh, alimbawa, magbigay ng moratorium ng 90 days, uh, yung, ano nyo, yung, yung amortization du- during the 90-day moratorium period, alimbawa, 50,000, but that's 150, uh, idadagdag nila yon dun sa principal and the remaining balance, ano, yung moratorium amortization plus remaining balance, uh, it did divide into remaining terms, which is which is good, you know. Um, malaking ano, malaking tulong yon, kasi uh, kaysa babayaran mo ng buo, say starting June, magbabayad ka ng 150,000. Siguro, babayad ka na effectively kung ang remaining term mo lang ay mga, mga 2 to 3 years pa, uh, from 50,000, baka mga 55,000 naman dyan. Uh, may konti increase sa 10% doon sa monthly amortization. Kaya lang, hindi mo babayaran yung nakaraan. Ano? That's one for, ano, doon sa, sa ano, yung mga banks and fixed amortization. I think most banks are amenable doon sa negotiation ng, ano, uh, ang tawag doon ay restructuring, loan restructuring. Uh, doon naman sa, ano, doon sa mga other business uh, payables, uh, suppliers, business partners, ano, uh, siguro ika-classify din natin. In our case kasi marami rin kami mga suppliers. The small ones na alam natin na wala namang capability sila, wala masyadong pinapaikat na puhunan. I think they have to be given priority. Kailangan masetter kasi uh, yung wala sila mga puhunan eh. Hindi sila pwedeng uh, hindi sila pwedeng uh, 
magpautang na matagal. Ano? So, yun yung dapat inaalagaan. Then, the other one, yung mga big ticket accounts. Ano? Uh, in our case, we have yung mga aming mga caterers. Ano? Uh, so, ang, ang ginagawa namin dyan, well, we negotiate kasi this is the time to draw from our emotional bank account. Uh, makakasama na kami for tapas 10 years, 15 years. Ano? So, siguro, ngayon lang namin naranasan pare-pareho to, so, siguro, it's about time na oh, X amount, ito mabayaran namin, the remainder, ito extended payment period. Which I think is uh, um, uh, possible. Ano? We've tried talking to Sam, and so far, okay naman. Ano? Okay, naman yung, ano, okay naman yung mga negotiations namin. In the same way, uh, yung ating mga receivables, Diba? Meron din tayong receivables both personal and business. Receivables sa rental, receivables sa, sa ibang items. Ano? So, we have to classify into amounts, whether low risk or high risk yan, itong mga receivables natin na to. And ESS din natin, collectible kaya yan. Uh, meron bang source ng repayment yung may utang sa atin? Ano? Uh, is C or C out of job? Kung out of job yan, walang chance tayo magbayaran. Ano? Uh, sarado ba business? Wala ba siya ng source of income at the moment? Uh, um, magkano bang cash can they afford to pay? Uh, baka may konti yung ano, may konti yung pwede yung ma-i-adapt for, for payment of the payables. Then, kung wala, uh, ano ang chance sila makabayad after the pandemic. You know? So I think those are the issues that we really have to take into consideration. So, iisa-isahin natin because hindi pwedeng yung rule dun sa isa will apply to the rest. You know? So, um, we have to break it down. Hindi may yun lang. I think yun yung, ano po, yun yung based, on, based on my experience and with sad talking to sabi nga ni Ardi, hindi nakikitulog sa itong mga bangko. You know? Pero, um, so far, sumasagot sila sa mga emails, pinakakausap sa mga um, officers, ano. So, okay naman. I think that's all. Richard, you're there already. Can you share? Rich, you're, we have to hear from you. Hi, hi. Can you hear Hello? me? Yes, yes, very loud. All right, good, good. Kasi kanina medyo naglagi so I had to change connection at saka change gadget, no? So I think one of the things that would have to uh, adjust to the times is the internet connection of everyone para ma-sustain itong online uh, activities ng masa, no? Ng lahat. So, hi guys, I'm, well, uh, I wasn't able to answer the first question, Kanina, but uh, I, I hope I can still share, no? Yung, I can't ano hear you. I, your your voice is is working, but no sound. Oh, oh I can hear you, Rich. I can hear you, Rich. So, Larry, we can hear uh, Richard. Uh, something's wrong with your hair, actually. With no sound. Face. So, Larry, naka off po yung ano nyo, yung video nyo. Uh, Richard, please continue. Okay. So um, going back to the first question, no, I, I am very amazed with everybody, you know, especially the people who has already a game plan no, uh, on this uh, situation. Uh, they're very inspiring. Uh, then I, I, and I guess they will be our, ano, no, our uh, lighthouse no, in terms of ano, no, uh, helping us go through this, ano, no, this uh, event. But one of the things that really stuck to my mind with regards to how do we adapt no, to, to, to the situation is I, I think a good, a good compass would always be relevancy. Eh? Uh, relevancy on this time, no? may that be personal, relevancy to your family, uh, relevancy to your business, to your staff, to your people, to your clients, no? uh, making sure that your, your service is also relevant. With that, with that in mind, a lot of things would follow. Eh? Uh, when you put that to heart, when you, you would don't have to be relevant, you would do everything. Eh? No, yung sacrifice, you know, the, the passion, the you know, uh, the adjustment that, that you will adapt. 
because you would want to be relevant to 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 those who you who, who you serve, no? Those who are important, who, who 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 you find important in your life or in your business. So yun yung ano, yun I think is really something that uh, would help us through to survive in this ano, no, in this crisis. Uh, for business, uh, in my in my in my case, we I have uh, a DV, uh, no, no, I have DV Tech, which is a production company, video production company, and uh, we also have a school, no, uh, preschool. So just imagine uh, the 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 challenge of uh, trying to continue our business, given that it would be difficult to do production shoots right now. And for our school, our preschool, uh, like what uh, already said, that, that it would be challenging for schools to operate, no? But uh, somewhere down the line, uh, being relevant, no, to the time, suddenly we were able to come up with a online, you know, uh, platform uh, for our school using, of course, our production technology plus uh, the expertise of our team no of uh, educators that uh, a lot of parents appreciated during this time of crisis because we, we we gave them like three weeks of ano, no of uh, curated uh, and uh, guided learning so so na, 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 naging relevant yung ano na yon, yung activity na yon. and we're very happy kasi kahit pa paano, uh, we had almost 80 enrollees no for that um and uh, that's that's probably something that uh, I saw as a way of uh, maintaining our relevancy. Yung sa ano naman sa DVTech, kasi a lot of schools suddenly when they saw that started inquiring on how they, we can help them produce their content for their learning systems. No? So so I think yun yun eh. And it took me a while. Eh. Dito nang yari overnight. No, unlike your others, they're very they're very siguro. Uh, Fortunate na alam na nila yung gagawin. Uh, sa akin, took a while before I was able to uh, siguro realize no, ako, anong, anong strategy ang kailangan ko gawin to survive. Uh, uh, relevancy also will also come to ano eh, to, to our people. No? Um, one of the things that worries me uh, right now is that uh, Yes, we are in a digital age, and I would like to share this to everybody. No? Uh, and a lot of people are saying that work from home, let's go online, let's go digital. Unfortunately, that's 1% of the population. Funny 99%. No? Funny 99%. So, so at this point uh, i'm still strategizing it i'm finding ways and means to to make sure that i'm still relevant to my team my staff i'm very amazed with what uh, uh, joe has done rd has done randy and nelson in terms of trying to make sure that all of their their staff no their employees are included in their plans in their strategy no as as uh, their uh, frontline heroes to to still making sure that uh, they they that they get compensated and also ako lang naman i hope that it, people would put into mind that it's very important that we become relevant to our team let us not forget that we were able to maintain our business because of them we were able to grow our business because of them so at this point in time of crisis there will be a lot of seguro concessions that we need to do so that kahit papano they will still be with us uh, case in point, schools. No, a lot of a lot of people are challenging a lot of schools right now, especially the traditional big schools. On on uh, what are they going to do? And uh, you know, uh, some are thinking that hindi na and everything. Just imagine how many educators, how many teachers, how many staff ang mawawala ng trabaho by not being you know uh, compassionate about that. So. So I, I think it's about time that people would have that shepherd mentality that, hey, let's not forget, you know, the others during this crisis. Hindi lang tayo ang nandiyan. No? So again, I, I hope let's all be relevant to our, ano, to, 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 ano, no, to, to our staff. Let us not forget them and let us all remember that we, we have survived all these years in our business because of them. So I, I, I think that's one critical thing. Um, then I go to our clients. Our relevancy to our clients is that uh, suddenly, suddenly, lahat ng kliyente namin, 
are inquiring about online training videos. So, so that's an opportunity for us to start uh, helping them because that's our specialty. No, and uh, I was very fortunate that uh, even our partners, our board, I uh, know, no, uh, helped me go back to our DNA to to make sure that we can give that service, no, the training. And I think I like what Joe mentioned, Kanina. Uh, you cannot you, you cannot have uh, no, you cannot do all of this without that AQ, no. So so that's a that's a reassuring, uh, no, reassuring guide. In terms of uh, yes, uh, to to be able to start off all of these uh, strategy, kailangan medyo maging frontliners din tayo as businessmen. So unfortunately, unlike the others, swerte sila makaka work from home sila, makaka online sila. But uh, there are people like me that would have to go on field to to guide my team to shoot to to produce no uh, this online content. And uh, I I think people should also remember na marami pa rin mga ganong uh, work class, no, that uh, would be going through that kind of situation, and uh, of course, uh, siguro to, to to end it lang, no. Um, I, I think uh, at the end, uh, at this point in time, uh, as we are all grappling on what solutions or, or what we we are going to, what we have to do to survive, let us not forget compassion, no. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy that in my mastermind group that all of you guys are very inspiring when it comes to that because you never forget those people who have made you where you are right now. And, 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 and for me, uh, I would apply that same level of compassion to people that I meet, that the clients that I serve, my family, and everybody else for us together you know, to, to survive this crisis. So, yun lang naman. Uh, again, uh, maintain our relevancy and uh, be compassion. Yun yung, yun yung gusto ko lang i-share sana sa grupo. Rich, uh, pakisagot ko yung next question, yung um, uh, talking about the cash flow management and debt issue. Okay. Uh, sa cash flow, no, we're, we're, we're quite okay. We're quite okay in terms of, ano, no, of uh, what do you call this? Uh, uh, yung mga payables and all. Kasi uh, being a production house, we do quite a number of yung para per project basis. No? So meron tayo ano doon. Um, in terms of cash flow, one of the things that uh, I think I did uh, to, to make sure that there will be some cash coming in uh, is basically being relevant to the clients. No? Um, and dami na projects na na-stall or nag-stop or under negotiations uh, and and uh, I think during this time what I tried to do is really try to reconnect with our clients and, and still show them that we are there for them so so we even offered at the end of the day uh, better packages no uh, kumbaga kung dati you can charge 100% I called them sabi ko you know I understand their situation I know your business is hard up uh, and uh, we are willing to go uh, reduce our uh, no, no, our margins by this much and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll bring it down to 70-70% no, yung, yung total cost of our project that you even approved already and they appreciated that. Ano impact nun sa amin is that uh, the project got approved <coughs> and meron kami down payment na makukuha. No? So, so that down payment would basically help us survive this crisis kasi Di ba, meron ka kayo pa paano cash flow na papasok. So, for those businesses out there that has uh, mga pending uh, pending uh, projects or meron kayo mga pre-approved projects na na-cancel, uh, it might, you might want to start revisiting your clients and probably ano, ano, uh, try to collaborate with them and partner with them and see how you could ano, uh, have a win-win uh, win -win activity. So, so again, it's good on our part. Uh, yeah, we're just quite lucky that uh, we're on a per project basis. So after the project, everybody's paid, suppliers are paid. Uh, siguro, isa lang challenge sabi ngayon would be the rental of our office. So though there are though there are concessions naman on that. Uh, but uh, I, I guess uh, in terms of making sure that uh, cash flow still comes in for you to be able to, to pay your payables, uh, start ano no start uh, revisiting your clients at saka your partners in terms of uh, you know how you could ano continue having businesses with them 
So I hope that answers yung second question in in a way, no? Alam ko medyo indirect yun, but uh, kasi hindi mo naman mababayaran ng utang mo kung wala kang pera pambayad, eh. I think it's... <laughs> That's that's the bottom line there. So so you have to make sure that your business is sustainable in making sure that your more projects more are going to continue. Okay. All right. Yeah, you lang, you lang. Okay. Um <clears throat> anyone uh wants to jump in on the debt management also, cash flow, RD, Joma, Sir Rani. Sige, ako muna. Very quick na naman ito eh. Uh, ako, as a rule of thumb, uh, because I've been through so many adversities and many economic upturns, downturns. So, from the past lessons, um, I have a parang personal formula of doing 12-month um, cash flow capacity. I mean, if I stop earning uh, today, if I have zero revenue today, uh, how much money, how much cash do I have to make sure that I can sustain uh, the fixed and overhead costs, including payroll for the next 12 months. So that's my view. But of course, not everybody can do that. Um, I'm able to because I've made businesses so that you diversified and we're able to uh, manage around our cash flows. And most of our businesses kasi are um, advanced payments. Eh more than uh, uh, collection, late collection. So that's uh, also uh, one reason why I go into certain businesses where uh, payments are actually done in advance rather than later on. Um, and then uh, very important for them is uh, to, to have a great relationship not only with your bankers for your credit uh, lines, but also to your uh, customers who would actually uh, be your key to surviving this uh, pandemic. Uh, you have to just communicate very well on how you wish to collect. Uh, and also to your suppliers, communicate to them uh, why you need to uh, either delay payments or manage your cost. So it would be, in other words, all uh, the bottom line here is to communicate very well with uh, all people involved in your cash flow. Um, for example, the bank, diba, you said uh, you have to be good for the bank. Mm. Ako, the bank called me up. Say, they're asking me to mm. the credit line. So what does that mean? That means that uh, for certain clients, uh, the banks would uh, take business you know, to, to certain clients that they think that these are funds, their, their funds are, and can pay them the, the risk of the risk of defaulting is less. So depends then. Eh. So kanya kanya anyan kanya kanya panahon. So uh, with that in mind, I peace of mind that uh, uh, I have my back uh, on my back in case we need them. For now, uh, we have not availed of their facilities because we told them that um, we're still okay. In fact. Despite this uh, lockdown for two months, we didn't pay. So um, just be communicating very well with uh, your clients, your suppliers, and your family. Okay. All right. Uh, well, thanks, Randy. Sirma, job, Joma. Hi. Uh, Alamo, I feel, you know, I feel, I feel bad, in my, and I'm very sad for for businesses. We have lots of debts during this crisis, no? Uh, which uh, it's 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 nice to carry some debt, kasi kaya mabayaran eh. Iba may kasabihan. There is there is nothing certain but death and taxes. Which I imagine kung nandung ka sa sa bagong bagong quote na there is nothing certain but debt, <laughs> death and taxes na lang ayon. I mean for a business, no? For a business, heavy debt that you cannot pay is already like death na eh. So sa tao, debt and taxes eh. Sa business, debt and taxes is cert certain to kill you naman. So, well, you have to live with it. You have to say a prayer. Diba tayo, kung may problema tayo, we pray. We pray for for the ano, for God to, to help us. So, you say a prayer to your debtors. That's all we can do. 
say a prayer. No, of course you say a prayer to God, but say a prayer to to your debtors. Or Can you please? Debtor. You know, you have to be humble enough to ano, eh, to to admit what's happening and say and say a prayer to them and see what happens. That one we cannot control anymore. Eh? So we just to me to my mind it's just a request. Sound More than a request, Mag. make it make make the request like a prayer. Yeah. Walang sound si Joe Mag, Anton. No meron. Meron hindi hindi mo narinig sir lang. Ngayon ngayon narinig ko lang ngayon. Okay okay. Just now. Okay. Thank you sir Joe Mag. So um my question lang po to follow up to that. Kung may debt ka, is it wise to Get another debt. Kung may kung may debt ka pare six feet under ka na eh. Kung may additional debt ka twelve feet under ka na. You know Jesus resurrected ano di ba? Lazarus when he was six feet under. I think it depends on the individual you're talking to, Anton. It depends on the burn rate concept, burn rate tolerance. <laughs> okay. Um, so, oh, Sir Arty? Yeah. Sir Arty? It's okay. Uh, for me, simple. I'm allergic to debt. Kaya it's a blessing that I don't carry much debt. I mean, no personal debt. Everything gets paid right away. Uh, malungkot lang, sabi, sabi, sabi ni Joe, yung... Uh, that in terms of business because before the before the lockdown happened i turned over i gave i, I actually gave uh, an entire business to my my staff para may kabuhayan sila so yung tubo cane juice sa uh, <coughs> stores namin tinun over to staff ko but now uh, and that was last march one two weeks later nak lockdown Eh, dapat peak months, di ba, drama? Peak months natin yung, ano, yung summer, eh. Yeah. So, instead of making money, they're now practically in debt to the malls. Even though the malls have not, have, uh, have said they won't charge rent. Pero others have started charging kusa, electricity, starting May 1. So, walang pumapasok na pera, walang sales yung mga uh, bagong entrepreneurs na tinuluhan ko na mga staff ko, may utang sila ngayon. So honestly, I, I really, uh, I, the others naman, I've challenged them to pivot and set up other alternative businesses. So may mga natulungan tayo na mga nag-shift nag, uh, na from to booking juice kasi mahirap yun eh. Very volatile yung, uh, I mean, it's, madali masira yung ano eh. Yung cane juice, so nag-shift to you know, we, we shared some of the products that we have, ice cream, milk, uh, pati Jomag, yung uh, potato corner, we're setting up a cloud kitchen in Las Piñas, in the commissary. I, I gave that commissary to them also. Pero the others who just took over the mall-based stores that we have in Makati, in Labang, anyway, <laughs> even before they could start, may na sila. So, yeah, we're, we're thinking of how to help them uh, uh, and uh, kasi hindi lang sila marunong mag-communicate magsulat ng mga letters so I mean these are my sales clerks who are now uh, the owners of new, of new stores so we're thinking of ways to uh, intercede for them and like Joe Mag said what's, what's this what's this what, uh, Ard is it uh, Tubo what's, what yeah, uh, tubo. business did you give away the Tubo King tubo. Juice business yeah okay okay so it's a challenge, so we'll see. And uh, so far, naman, uh, I think right now the mall operators are being are uh, reasonable. Naman yung nakikita kong thread yung mga ino offer nila na instead of uh, rent, uh, the usual rent is 50% off or 3%. Pero yun nga, I don't know, Jomag, how you know the traffic will be like. Baka pati 50% rent. Yeah, the, you know, RD, the, 
guys, the question is a uh, is a challenging one about the cash flow yeah. and the burn rate. No, I'll share my own personal take, but also the take of people I have gotten in touch with through a survey. I surveyed people who are who are already in my mailing list, uh, and the responses about 224 of the responses vary. No. So before I get to the people, my own take on burn rate is, is simple. No, I ask, what's the burn rate? Is it one month, two months, three months, etc.? For example, initially, my burn rate was one month. The burn rate answer affects the ability to pivot. Why? Because with the burn rate of 12 months, as uh, Randy mentioned, you're able to think more with less pressure hounding you. you know? So my challenge was how do I increase my burn rate capacity from one month to three months? And I found a way so that cash came in through this way. And all of a sudden, I'm able to pivot with the seminar business. And now... My goal is how to increase the burn rate from three months to six months and then from six months to 12 months, which is what uh, Randy mentioned. And which is, by the way, the burn rate of uh, Bill Gates when he started Microsoft. He was faced with that same question. You're just a small startup. Nobody knows you. Nobody recognizes you. Even at that small date, Bill Gates already said, I will have 12 months of cash on hand so that I will not be at the mercy of what hits me. I can I can hold on. And now that Microsoft has gotten big, by the way, ang ganda ng kwento niya in Netflix, Inside Bill's Brain sa Netflix, he still maintains 12 months burn rate. And that kind of mindset allows, allows Bill to continue to think innovatively when he was small, when he became big, and now when he's very large. So, what is going on with people? When I asked them in the survey the question, how are you feeling? Are you feeling panicky? Are you feeling paralyzed? Are you feeling depressed? They openly shared that, and then some have even added uh, details on their feelings, no? Those who are panicky, I notice, are unable to articulate on their pivot, on their ability to pivot, whether they're an employee or a real estate broker or an entrepreneur. But amazingly, there are some people, they say, I'm paralyzed, but despite being paralyzed, I am looking forward to, and then they mention anong gusto nila. I, I'm looking forward to renting my condo. I'm looking forward to buying property to set up a mall. Kanya-kanyang mindset eh. So, we have to be sensitive to the mindset of the people we're, who are asking our advice. No, uh, The most... Uh, sensible to me is you have to first know your burn rate and if your burn rate is uh, one month two months you have to figure out how to increase your burn rate before you start uh, going wild with uh, ideas what will increase the cash and the cash flow and if you think it through and you're able to pivot even while under COVID circumstances, I think your mind will be able to move forward. You know, like, like uh, Joe Mag said, parang basketball. Your pivot foot has to be firmly planted even as you're rotating around your, your core competence. Your core competence. So that assumes you know your core competence. No? So ako, the question is so important for me personally, but also to the people that are, I'm trying to 
that I'm engaged with right now because of the Think Rich Pinoy Abundance Seminar survey, the pivot edition. No? So to summarize, know your burn rate, double your burn rate if you can until you hit 6 to 12 months. And that will hopefully focus focus us on our core gift. And then as we grow that core gift, we will find out what the new normal that we want to take advantage of. Is it uh, hyper online? Is it hyper delivery? Is it hyper local? Or so many ideas that are coming at us on different directions. But we need to use that question of uh, Anton and RD in, in terms of burn rate and how we are going to double the burn rate and then pivot in our around our core gift. If we don't know our core gift, then maybe during COVID, that's what we have to find out. Ano pa talaga yung core gift ko as an employee? as an entrepreneur or as a startup and you have to use tools like uh, the business model canvas the personal business model canvas of uh, alexander osterwalder you have to get that pen and make up your business model canvas to find out your gift your unique selling proposition kung hindi ka clear doon walang mangyayari sa sa negosyo sa tingin ko and the best you can do is don't waste your liquidity, your cash right now. Don't flitter it away. Uh, conserve, conserve for for food. You know? So you can order like Dito Saberdana from uh, RD or from my favorite Hyper Kitchen uh, in the village where I magaganda yung dish niya at mura, mga 50 pesos, uh, 500 pesos or you know. 50 pesos and uh, use the health that you have because health is so critical in in the burn rate huh? kung bagsak yung health mo no matter if you have 12 months burn rate ang gagamitin mo sa perang yon sa hospital na lang and uh, that's happened to some people close to me i have two classmates who passed away with we already went to their mass you know, 40 days since they died you know that was 40 days more than 40 days ago so you had to come up with a individual personal strategy but with the principles that uh, you can pick up from what you from from the best uh, entrepreneurs that you uh, can identify with you no know? If not, go to Netflix, listen to things like Inside Bill's Brain and see how Bill Gates uh, handles this problem that uh, Anton raised no, of burn rate. That's it, sir. Sorry, I'm a taga taga na konte. <laughs> okay, lang, sir. S- sir John Mag, you are going to say something. Ah, oh, wala naman. Uh, ang natawa lang ako dahil sabi ni. Uh, ni Larry, gusto niya pumunta doon sa palengke nila dahil magaganda eh. Kala ko magaganda yung mga tindera. <laughs> <laughs> I, miss, I miss that wonderful sentence. Joe Mag, can you repeat what you just said? Larry, you said kasi you go to your palengke kasi magaganda. Kala ko magaganda yung mga tindera. Wala pa rin eh. Hindi ko naririnig. <laughs> Okay lang, okay lang, sir, Larry. <laughs> ikaw, ikaw na mag-repeat, Anton. Anong narinig mo kay Joe Mag? Ah, sabi niya, ano, sabi mo daw magaganda yung mga nasa palengke. Akala niya kung anong magaganda. Sinabi ko ba yun? <laughs> B- bigyan mo na lang si Larry. Magaganda sa palengke. <laughs> okay, um... Siguro will uh, before we wrap up the session any any advice or any topic you guys want to discuss we'll do this free flowing na lang uh, or baka meron kayong gustong to consult or brainstorm with the team uh, baka we can help out on some problems that you have 
Ako lang ang tono, no? Yes? Yes, okay. go. Ako, ako, yeah. ako have a, uh, a small one. Uh, uh, Sir Larry, Sir, Sir Nelson muna, and then we'll go. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Kasi isa rin doon sa mga na-take up mo, nabanggit mo, ano yung, ano, ano yung business to go to post-COVID, ano? Ako ang tigit ko talaga, ano, uh, yan, BPO rentals is on the rise. Uh, tapos siya yung mga affordable rental units, condominium, na uh, kapareho namin yan, ano, ni Randy, doon sa mga city centers, kasi yan ang na, mga BPO employees. So, ang tingin ko may malaking opportunity dyan. But ang may pinakamalaking opportunity, yung nakikita ang ginagawa ni, ano, ni RD. Ito yung community food uh, business. Ano. So, uh, yan kasi ang, ano, yan, yan ang, yan ang, ano, yan ang pinaka-pillars kasi ng, even in countries like, like Europe, yung mga corner stores. Ano. Yan ang mga, ano, ngayon, uh, mga tindahan sa kanto. Yan ang inti ngayon, ano. Uh, yun dapat palakasin, yun dapat buhay. But the, moment, uh, the same time, yan yung talagang nagbibigay ng suporta sa uh, sa, ano, sa food services within community. Ang isa rin ay yung community food production. Yung food, community food production in some areas like in Siargao, uh, yung chief of police sa General Luna, nagkaroon siya ng chief of police pa yan, ano, ng General Luna. Meron siyang project, sinimulan niya last month. Ang tawag nila, hardi ng pagbabago. So, yung sabihin ng hardi ng pagbabago, uh, yung mga bacon lots, at yung mga, mga, mga backyards ng bawat, ano, bawat mga residente, tinaniman nila ng uh, mga, ano, mga gulay na gagamitin nila pang araw-araw. So, kailangan para masustain, iniisip nila, they don't have to depend because Siargao is an island. So, karamihan ng kanila mga pagkaya na gagaling sa mainland, which is Surigao. Ano? So, uh, most of the food can be transported by food. I, I don't see my my video. Ah. Yeah. So, ang ano nun, ang, ang, ang maganda doon, uh, yung ano yun, yung, yung food production, uh, ina-address nila para kung sakasakali they Ayun, I see food. you. They don't have to I see buy Anton. food from other uh, from the neighboring island. Uh, and ang um, maganda nito. Nelson doon, still sharing. Yung, ano, yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm listening. So, na-address din niya yung ano yung uh, low or zero carbon footprint, di ba? So, malaking sa akin kasi that's what we've been doing even before the lockdown even before covid we're trying to source our food supplies within 5 kilometer radius and we're trying to plant as much as we can yung kaya namin na yung day to day na kakailanganin uh, sorry sir wala way. talaga ako naririnig and, uh, si Edo, si Andy is doing well on that front uh, congratulations and palagi ko nang pakalaki tulong doon sa ano, na, na, that's, that's a good way to start business. Thank okay. you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, and it's a good service to the community as well. You get to know your neighbors and going back to basics. Yes. Uh, can, can I comment on that, ano, uh, guys, no, since uh, medyo brainstorming ito. Um, offhand, offhand, no, I, I, I also went into yung community, ano, di ba, yung community uh, service, no, we're, I, we're selling actually potato corner at home packs dito sa Tahanan Village, no, and uh, maraming following, no, maraming following. Pero, guys, uh, siguro lang, just to put on the table, no, uh, what, what will happen in the future, we all know that we are living in areas na may kanya-kanya mga ano yan, no, um, how would you say uh, homeowners association uh, guidelines no baka it's about time that we talk to our association directors to continue allowing you know these types of community stores kasi if you will base it on the ano yan, no? uh, homeowner rules and regulations bawal magkaroon ng stores in, in in the villages or in the ano no in Diba? in a uh, close community. So, so sana bago ma-lift or bago, ano, mm. 
uh, magkaroon ng uh, directive na o ano na wala nang ECQ sara na lahat yung mga ano na yan, mga stores na yan, mga sari-sari stores na yan na nasa village natin kasi from the start bawal naman yan eh it's about time that baka we might have to start telling them to start opening their minds no uh, again like what i mentioned earlier they have to be relevant to the times so yun lang isa yan sa mga nag run through yes, my sir. mind there's there's hundreds of uh, new businesses coming out in our Hello. village uh, i was part of the board before i remember not allowing a board of advisor a uh, board of ng association namin and i was I remember us not allowing any businesses to open up inside the village. So I'm worried lang na baka after malif ang ECQ, all of them would be requested to shut down again. No, So that is probably uh, something that we have to be proactive about in terms of ready touching base with uh, those community leaders natin to allow these kinds of you know, micro-enterprises to thrive. Rich, I would suggest you recommend they look at Verdana Homeowners Association board style. Kasi RD is doing business inside here. Uh, uh, all kinds of uh, hyper-local business is going. Uh, walang delivery. Kami na ang kumukuha sa pagkain, Rich. And it, it's amazing, including Facebook to buy vegetables that are being delivered from uh, Baguio. No? So maybe there are things that you are mentioning about such villages, no? but there are other villages, and Verdana is one of them. My golly, ang saya ng economy na nangyayari dito, and uh, I love the food of a Hyper Kitchen. I love the Melona ice cream. Of Ardi Roberto, no? simply because hyper local na ang, ang new normal. Hyper local yeah. talaga is working in villages, at least this one village. I don't know about Dasma and Alabang and uh, you know, Larry. the Larry. bigger villages, but this small one, pare, I am so happy, so happy with the economy that is going on right now. <laughs> And I commend yes, the yes. board of Verdana. Ang galing ng board ng, ng Verdana. Pare. Uh, complainer well, ako dati. Complain ng complain. <laughs> eh, ngayon, ano, I'm all praises for the leadership. Uh, who, he was going to resign. The president of Aron was going to resign. I had to step in and, and do my two cents to say, pare, not now. The, the general does not abandon his troops during crisis. We will let you go after the Christ. So, salamat sa Diyos. The villagers, ano, uh, rallied. And the guy did not resign. And now, he's to be commended for good leadership. <laughs> so, pare, ganun ang nangyari that's, sa... That, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's very good, Larry, that, uh, that is being done. Actually, it's being done in most villages right now. Uh, what I mentioned na baka magkaroon ng disruption is when the ECQ is lifted and suddenly the rules and regulations of the association would be applied again, which actually includes most associations, no? if I'm not mistaken, and that would be found sa mga rules, uh, rule book niyan, na bawal magtayo ng negosyo sa loob ng village. So that's why I'm saying... Uh, as early as now, I, I, you know, it is something that has to be raised already to the association to allow you know, these businesses to thrive because of the new normal. And uh, if you take a look at Verdana's uh, yan, rules and regulations, I, I tell you, it's included there that uh, you cannot have sari-sari stores in every house in your village. Kaya, kaya it would be nice to actually start talking, reaching out to them, and make it a new normal to, to allow these uh, legit uh, micro-enterprises to survive. Yun lang naman. I, I'm just trying to say that para as early as now, meron na tayo onting clamor to, to appreciate to the concern. To appreciate uh -oh. the concern, Rich, but the board itself is the one leading the new normal of hyper-local. Sila nang, ang, ang, ano, nag, nagbukas ng Facebook uh, group that allows us to order through Viber from people like RD and mm -hmm. Potato Corner here in Verdana. 
Yes, 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 ano, yes. Pare, eh, the, the boards would be wonderful uh, ano, in, in all the Correct. villages. Uh, people to... Ano na lang siguro, to to. Boss Larry. Uh, ano na lang siguro. Uh, hopefully, after ECQ, after lockdown, after everything, these are still ano, allowed no? and will continue. Kasi that's uh, going to determine uh, the fate of all of the micro-enterprises that are opening right now in hundreds of villages in the in in Metro Manila. So, Sorry, yun lang underground, naman. Underground economy lahat yan. Wait till you get wait till you try to get business permits for all of them. Wala lahat yan pwedeng wala makakuha ng business permit lahat diyan. <laughs> uh, yun yeah, yun that's what I'm trying to say. Eh. Kaya kaya ako lang naman I'm just sharing that as a way to foresee the the future challenges that uh, we may we may encounter with the micro enterprises kasi nga it is the rally right now eh. let's open small businesses but uh, is our is our barangay ready is our village ready is our is our city ready with that kind of new normal so baka somebody can take that lead and represent you know the micro enterprises para kahit pa paano, hindi naman ma- mawala lahat ito after two weeks, four weeks, or two months. No? Uh, because, yun na nga, livelihoods are already, livelihood is already at stake here. Tama ka, Rich. They're already anticipating a problem. Eh. Eh, that's, the only re- that's the only way to survive a crisis, to anticipate it. Eh. That's right. So, yun, yun lang, yun lang. As, and I, I know that there's a lot of ano, eh, new businesses that opened eh, sa mga villages. We're enjoying that now kasi we're all on lockdown pero baka lang magbago ang ihip ng hangin once uh, there is no board resolution or barangay uh, amendment that would be ano no would be made Okay um, any other items you want to discuss for good uh, any ideas on uh, how uh, someone like my friend Angelo Losada in Kanyang Swimming School? Paano, paano ba yun? Medyo malabo-labo pa yan. <laughs> Kasi ano yan eh. Uh, uh, yes, over 100 coaches eh. So sa GCQ, walang sports, di ba? Tama ba? Uh, meron, meron. Mga non-contact non-contact. sports. Oh, pwede naman non-contact. swimming. They'll have to and, go to a swimming pool. And... Ang pool na public pool, mahal i-maintain kung so, may social distancing. Kasi oh. halos hindi mo pwede nga na. Pag nilimit mo lang yung ano, gagamit ng, ano, ng pool, eh, in, baka hindi kaya i-recover yung cost. So, halimbawa yung Lusada, no, swimming pool, ano, yung kanyang, ano, kanyang mga swimming lessons, uh, limited din lang ang makaka-up. Meski magsimula ka ng 6 hanggang 5 in the afternoon, Eh, palagay ko, baka, hindi gaya kasi kung ano yan, kung yung during normal times, ang daming pwedeng mag, ano, sabay-sabay mag-take ng lessons, di ba? Hmm. Uh, so, baka, may, baka mahirapan, mahirapan lang. Uh, Ako, quick, quick pivot lang, uh, Brother RG. Um, for those who really want to uh, go uh, and still uh, do swimming lessons uh, for those who have pools or those who have access to pools, uh, maybe you can do the training. Para uh, ginagawa sa distant learning now, distance learning now. Now you make set videos on the basics of how to wear a life vest and how to do basic strokes. Yun lang muna. Uh, of course, iba talaga ang hands-on, but uh, considering that there are challenges in terms of physical uh, distancing, this is the best way. Using for data technology to teach the basics. Of course, with the guidance of a uh, of an adult or of somebody who is a swimmer, uh, when this ball type. Ayo, balik to na. Yeah. Thanks, Randy. Brother Randy, la- ako, okay, question. Ako, how will your events, business like Wofex, what will be? How will it look like? Uh, in terms of, kasi dante sexy ka talaga mga tao. People really packed in the exhibit halls. How will it look like uh, when it opens then? Um, well, if there's no vaccine or cure in place, uh, we're not even sure if um, the government will allow us to open, uh, open. Although in other countries, it's not considered, it's not considered as mass gathering. It's specialized. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Um, MIC. Did you hear anything? I heard. Ask, um, yeah. I heard um, to this speak to a purpose, which is basically business. So, meaning, uh, we can control the registrants, we can control the identities. So, mm -hmm. there are ways to control uh, the access to the venues and to the events itself. So, mm -hmm. having said that, uh, there will be certain topics in place. Uh, first, first of all, will be uh, pre pre screening of uh, attendees, and secondly, there will be certain physical requirements as regards, uh, for example, that they are oh, like like perfect, um, so bright, so ramming exhibitors and and uh, limited space. Uh, we're now uh, we're now going to adjust. Uh, to the new reality of having a bigger common space and uh, fewer occupancy per booth to entertain visitors and then fewer visitors na dapat highly selected highly highly selected kami on the target market so many challenges but there are solutions to that uh, so it's just highly targeted lang yeah okay ako ano uh I said to a friend uh, the other day, yeah, sometimes there are businesses that can serve, can serve quickly, fairly normal right away if you rethink your market. Kasi yung, yung masa, yung middle C and below, walang care at it. May, may certain nature sila na walang pakailan. May galing na ako sa hirap. Ano ba itong wala? Walang kwenta. Sa kanila, walang kwenta itong ano eh. Itong crisis na to eh. Uh, they've been they've been born under crisis. They've, they've lived from one crisis to another. Wala sa kanila itong COVID crisis. Tingnan mo, hindi mo, hindi mo sila mapa, mapa, mapa social distancing. That's their nature eh. So, they will be the first to go to the malls. They will be the first to go to parties and flock commercial establishments. Yung masa talaga, yung, yung mass market. Uh, if if some businesses can refocus and, and maybe pivot by changing market, then maybe they will survive. And of course, that one plus changing, revisiting your cost structure, kasi syempre, palit ka ng market. So, palit ka rin ng cost structure. Yun. Yun. Yun din na nakita ko sa Kabite. I was in Kabite the other day, I think last Sunday. Parang oh. normal, ano, yung kanilang... Oo, oh, di ba? Yung parang, yung pinaka, ano, nila, parang, parang hindi naman mall, ano, parang yung strip na may mga pwesto, may mga, may mga karinderia, uh, may mga minimart, walang, ano, walang social distancing. Sabi ko, Correct. buhay na buhay ka ako, ano, sabi ko, ano ba to? Sabi ko, parang, parang nasa ibang mundo ako bigla, ano, sabi ko. Wala, it's normal. I mean, uh, the place is crowded. Yung, uh, yung mahirap, iba talaga. Ibang, ibang, ibang nature talaga na mahihirap. Oh. Wala, walang kwenta sa kanila itong crisis na to. Bu nabuhay sila. Nabuhay sila sa crisis eh. Until now, they're crisis forever. <laughs> Di ba? Uh, utang, well, utang here, naman. utang there. Okay. Anton? So, Yes, Randy. Yeah, okay. Sige. Uh, uh, what's our next, uh, next uh, question? Um, wala, uh, yung ano lang, uh, the final thoughts na lang on um, your, wa what do you think will happen with this crisis? Um, when will it end? And uh, yun, uh, one of our question was, any businesses that will survive if uh, or uh, categories that uh, you might want to go there or not or yun lang uh, mga predictions siguro uh, especially now na will be opening to GCQ by the end of May you know for Metro Manila who wants to go first <clears throat> okay sige I, I go pero siguro um... I need to leave by, you know, by, by before 12. Eh. Oh, uh, we're <coughs> closing, eh, closing this. Yeah. yeah. Siguro kasi, ang dami mga bago ngayon sa, ano, ang dami mga bagong findings you know, sa US, yung mga, mga, mga scientists, ano, about itong, ano, itong 
uh, about COVID. Ano? So, sinasabi nila bago ito umalis talaga, this would infect 60 to 70 percent of the world population. Inang, 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 inang sinasabi nila. And napakaraming strains, may sinasabi mga cluster of uh, coronavirus na iba yung ano iba yung behavior ano so hindi yung mga ano, mga naunang ano mga naunang lumabas sa studies ano so siguro it will really take a while ano bago mag ma discover yung tamang vaccine and when that happens talagang we have to live with what is happening now uh napakaraming ano i i see, I see a lot of changes uh, changes for the better kasi I think we be we learn to live with uh, what we have now. Uh, there we should learn to live with things that we can do without, di ba? Napakarami. Dami pa lang pwede, pwede pa lang hindi ko muna lang mall. Pwede pa lang hindi ko mag-shopping. Pwede pa lang, uh, ito lang ang pwede mong gawin, ano? So, but I think this is going to be for the better, ano? Uh, better for the environment. Uh, Siguro sa in terms of food choices natin ngayon, uh, mas, uh, if we have a chance, ano, uh, we opt for the healthier food. Ano. Uh, we have time for, to, to exercise. We have time uh, with our family. We have a lot of time at home. And uh, yung mga priorities natin ay... Uh, napakaraming na bago at marami pang dapat paguhin. And in terms of the way we do business, uh, siguro mas in the next few months, mas klaro na sa atin. Uh, how are we going to conduct our businesses uh, when this thing is over? And sa tingin ko, a lot of people, uh, it's going to be uh, for the better, ito mga changes na mangyayari sa atin. I think yun yung aking, ano, yun aking nakikita. I think more on the positive side, not on the negative side. There, I'm okay again. Okay, sige. Sir Larry, ikaw na. Thanks, Mayor Nelson. Uh, I, can, I can speak now, Anton. Yes, yes go. Your, your question was uh, final words. Prediction. Final words na ba tayo? Yeah, prediction. and yeah. Apo, the two things that really helped me, aside from listening to you guys right now, no, uh, the mastermind group itself, the one thing I want to not predict so much but recommend is feast at home. Feast at home. Especially the two... Uh, the two feast sessions where Arun Gogna and Bo Sanchez speak. The first feast session gives the three life-changing assignments that people can do to handle their mindset. That's the feast at home of uh, Arun and Bo. The second feast at home is swak na swak to what we're experiencing now how do you prosper in the time of crisis very practical suggestions on both i personally found very helpful for example the notion that the new normal will be hyper online with examples hyper local with examples dito sa Berdana and other places and hyper uh, delivery hyper delivery and uh, just listen to those two feast at home it can really be life-changing if you do the assignments and if you act on the predictions that you hear there the amazing prediction is this uh, plan to stay Walang vaccine, vaccine until way down. Of course, we all want the vaccine to happen. We all want the corona will be eradicated quickly. 
and I pray for that. But what's gone to my head, listening to these two feasts at home is, we better plan to thrive and prosper exactly as if the coronavirus was not yet solved within a few months and even a few years. And uh, how to do that, how to live, plan to stay in the new normal so that not only do we survive, but we can thrive. And uh, anything that anybody can offer, I'm ready to listen. And that's what Arun and Bo have done in the two Feast at Home sessions. You know? And the last recommendation or prediction comes from my own uh, guru from abroad naman, aside from Bo and Arun, meron naman abroad, si Jeff Walker with the product launch formula. The Dogon guy just released the whole Facebook live live uh, streaming of product launch formula pivot edition and he will close it again before the month's end take advantage of it while it's free and what you hear in the case studies that are there that you identify with pasukan mo kasi ano eh proven na yun eh only in the united states I want to prove in the Philippines we can do hyper online with something like Pink Rich Pinoy. No? But why cannot we do hyper online with uh, with each of our respective businesses? No? The, the good ideas that came here. No? Uh, why can uh, Expo or the Pep Tarsus of uh, Randy? No? Crazy, but they're all going to shut down. But how can they communicate and give value to their suppliers during this time? As if talagang it will it will last for one year, six months, one year and a half. The Tarsus will still give value to those uh, to those people that believe in them because Pep Tarsus can give them value about something, education, uh, marketing through online through online uh, same thing of course with uh, what i hear here no whether it, it rich with his uh, homeschooling no that's so promising rather than uh, whatever others since you already have a school and you're working from home and the thing is working can you double down on that and like uh, jeff walker says you know Grow your business so it becomes uh, 2x, 3x, 4x, 10x. On one business, focus on the darn thing until it grows rather than moving to all kinds of other things that uh, are not as promising as the LMS. No? So, again, uh, prediction of the future, prediction is hindi mawawala even though I pray that it will it will go away hindi mawawala ang corona five environment the coronavirus will will be around and we have to plan to to survive and thrive in this environment and how do we build relationships during that situation how do we build a business in this situation how do we continue discipling people as Bo and Aaron would say to become followers of Jesus Christ right in the midst of this can we be as energized as the as the apostles were when they found out Jesus rose from the dead but uh, was no longer available to them personally they, with Paul and with the apostles and with Peter, grabe ang actions, action of, ano, audacity nila. Uh, audacity nila. So, let's, ano, we, we hope it will go away, pero pare, let's come up with personal and uh, business strategies assuming it is here to stay. The new normal is new normal ongoing na yan. Wala nang, wala nang changes dyan. 
whether hyper online, hyper local, hyper delivery, hyper tourism, hyper whatever. It's got it's go, it's not going to change. We're not going back to where we were before. Hindi na mangyayari yun. Kalimutan na natin yung past. We are now moving forward with new normal. That's it, sir. Uh, okay. Sir Randy, Sir Rich, Sir Ardi, final thoughts, predictions? <laughs> sir Rance. Uh, okay. Uh, for me, uh, as Jack says, the fact that we're healthy and we're alive in this pandemic world is uh, profitable enough already. Uh, we should keep going. Uh, so uh, we, let's let's move forward. Let's let's not only uh, let's be confident in the future so that it gives us it gives us hope today. Let's always be in the state of gratitude for the blessings. That's it. Okay. Thank All you, right. Sir I Randy. I can hear again, Anton. <laughs> what did Randy say? Ikaw na mag-repeat kung ano. Hindi, okay naman. Ano, sabi niya, as Jack Ma said. <laughs> ano yung Jack Ma? Yung famous quote niya? The what? Difficult today. It is more difficult tomorrow. But the day after is going to be very bright. <laughs> yung ba yung quote mo, Randy? Eh, hey, Mr. Larry, sabi ko, um, just because you're alive today Wala, and... Kailangan um, ulitin mo ulit. Hindi ko na rin Sir, let's take care of me Just say, text it to you na lang. Sir, <laughs> which? <laughs> uh, um, ako, ano, uh, offhand, siguro what I can say uh, to the group is that you know, what we're experiencing right now, tong, tong lockdown, these two months and everything is... It's not the real crisis. Eh. Um, this is the preparation for what is to come. No, uh, So at this point in time, try already to uh, to have, you know, the activities that can actually make you, ano, no? make you more uh, adapted to what will be happening. Uh, we all know that the impact of the crisis would be post ECQ, post lockdown. Uh, that is when people or 95% of the people would realize that wala na silang trabaho or naapektuhan yung trabaho nila. Uh, and there's no more ayuda kasi hindi na lockdown yun. Wala nang dole, wala na lahat, wala nang, wala nang mabibigay na relief goods kasi as- assumption ng, ng lahat ay uh, post lockdown, may trabaho pa. So, I don't know, no? uh, maybe this is the time that we take advantage to, to let us all pray to have that, uh, no, no? to have that uh, enlightenment to, on how together, like what I said kanina, to be compassionate with others, that we will all survive no? uh, tong, tong crisis na to. May that be in three months, six months, one year, two years, uh, medyo kailangan natin maano yun, ma- ma-prepare. Uh, because uh, actually on my mind, uh, the crisis is not what's happening now. This is actually preparation that is being given to us you know, for the, the real crisis to come. When we realize that uh, a lot of the establishments, institutions, uh, livelihoods would be, are already affected. You know? uh, yun yun. Yun yung masasabi ko lang. So take advantage of this time that is being given to us. Others are medyo na naging impatient na, so na lumabas. Pero while you're home or while you're in lockdown, while you're trying to give the frontliners that edge to get uh, ahead of the virus, plan ahead on how we, you can actually or how we can survive, you know, uh, for the new normal that everybody's talking about. All right. Um, ako na muna, Sir RD. Ikaw na mag-ending, Sir RD. <laughs> oh, magandang ending yan. <laughs> uh, so, ako na muna. Um, for for me naman, uh, I think um, there'll be a big problem ahead talaga. And uh, w- one thing's good lang is we're with family. Uh, and um, especially in the industry that uh, we cover, I was... Um, 
what one bright thing that I was looking at is there's a lot of innovation happening. So para ang 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 ganda din ng mga innovation that's happening and um but there will be more to come. Uh, tama ka rich. Uh, this may be just a uh, ano pa lang simula pa lang talaga to nung uh, the real battle. Um siguro ang last message ko lang is this will be 2020 will be the stuff of stories. This is the stuff of stories we will tell our kids, our grandkids for years to come. This is our war story. And you have to make this count. You have to make sure that uh, you did something for somebody else or you help other people. You want to make sure that you make this COVID war counts, at least in the in the history of your family. So, um, and it's very good also to have uh, a mastermind, you know, and that's why we're trying to open this mastermind to probably um, share the knowledge to other people para, you know, they can... Uh, navigate this crisis and maybe together we can um we can survive um in the next uh, few months that's it sir rd i know ikaw ang, uh, ending natin. Prayer after your talk i want to also end with prayer after the talk ah sige sir rd uh wait maka okay go Okay, my prediction is this. My predictions are mostly based on God's promises. Number one, that but all Masama things... Na naman ang audio ko, uh, Anton. <laughs> uh, uh, wait, so, yeah. tapat ito si muna na. Yan. Okay. Okay na, sir okay RD. Yeah. Okay, my prediction is really based on God's promises Dawa to all of us. Okay, Sige. galang. Okay. <laughs> So his promise is that all things will work out for the good for those who love God and who are called according to his promises. So I believe that all things will truly work out for the good. At the end of the day, God brings us trials so that our roots will reach deeper, so that our faith will be tested, so that our perseverance and resistance will grow even stronger. At the end of the day, it's our character that will be molded. It's our character that uh, will grow in this crisis. Storms come and trees will fall down, but at the end of the day also, whether it's a forest fire or whether it's a storm, new life will spring forth. There will be new life. And so my prediction is that there will be new life. There will be uh, a new life, a new, a new yearning for not just a new normal, but new meaning in life. So my prediction is this, from this Christ, so many people will go to where Christ is. People will flock <laughs> to where Christ is from this crisis. So, yan ang prediction ko. And my prayer really is that people will go uh, closer to God. Maybe that's what God wants to happen at the end of the day, that we'll all grow closer to each other, relationships. I mean, look at what's happening now. Uh, people are meeting, are stopping, are praying for each other. So, all things will work out for the good. And that's my prediction. Amen. Amen. Sir Larry? To yes, end? sir. Amen, amen. Hmm. To end, ikaw na, Sir Larry. Oh, end with uh, a prayer, Larry. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. Prayers na? Prayers na? Yes, Sir Larry. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father God, thank you in a very, very special way for the grace of this meeting online. That uh, Anton pushed us to hold. May the recordings and what we share be of service to anybody who gets to listen to this experience, this an amazing experience that uh, we've just gone through the last hour, the last two hours. Father, in, in a very special way, I lift up to you all of those who are frontliners in this very challenging situation, especially those who are marginalized, who are out of the loop, who are not only desperate, paralyzed, and feeling hopeless. I ask in a special way that... Uh, your own Holy Spirit, 
walk beside them, to give them hope, to explain in a way that they can understand what what's happening. And may your Holy Spirit in, in the person of Jesus walk beside them the same way as in the walk of the disciples in Emos, that our Lord very gently walk beside them and explain to them the scriptures and reveal himself at the breaking of the bread so that their hearts burn burned with with uh, excitement with with joy that really not only is the lord risen but he is with them and that they were so excited they, they ran back to the disciples they ran back to jerusalem where uh, the danger lay and despite the danger they were able to continue to to stay the course to live the life the new normal that uh, you you you've uh, brought them to do the same with us lord we are going to go back to our new normal situations. Help us with the different new normal actions that you that you guide us to, so we can do what it takes, not only to to survive, but to thrive in the new normal situations. But not just so much for ourselves, but that as we thrive, we can actually increase the service that we have to people that we are in touch with, to people in need, to all our surrounding environment, that we survive, but that we thrive, and not only do we thrive, but we can actually be your light, your, your grace to all that you bring us in touch with. All this, Father, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All oh, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it, As was, it was in the beginning, beginning now, now and ever shall be. World without world. End. Amen. Amen. Saint John Baptist de la Salle. Pray for us. Saint Ignatius of Leon. Amen. Pray for us. Saint Therese of Lisieux. Pray for us. Live Jesus in our hearts. For us. Amen and amen. Forever. Oh, salamat po. All right. Thank you. Oh, digital traffic. Okay. Wala po, digital ready, digital ready na yan si ano. Wala, wala. Wala ready. Si ako si JB ang nagtulong sa akin dito, meron akong sikreto. Hindi ko na alam gagawin ko, tinatawagan ko siya. Okay, guys. All right, guys. Nice right. seeing you all. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye